Operations of commercial motorcycles in six local government areas of the state has come to an end. And this is happening on a day the ban imposed on Okada by the state government took effect. In this report, senior correspondent Ivy Kano went round to monitor the level of compliance. Compliance was total at Ujudu LCDA as motorcycles weren't sighted at major spots where they used to ply. Meanwhile, at Awolo Way, Keja, we ran into some enforcement. Impounded motorcycles were seen being loaded into a truck. At the Ojota Ikorodu Road axis, motorcycle riders are having a field day plying on the BRT lane. Those interviewed were divided on their stand on the ban. If a directive will be coming out, I think all stakeholders should be considered and they've been brought to the table. Like, okay, the Okada people, I believe they have a body. Have they been consulted before this? I never thought there is any other way to remedy the situation or the mayhem that might be coming from the, uh, that led to the ban. I think everyone should be brought to the table, if at all, Okada rather should be banned from some region, but not all region. But I think uh, some preferable jobs or alternatives should be made to them. Maybe those who are really, really interested to work, not the lazy ones. For me, I'm almost a victim of arm robbery by the bike. So for me, summary, I would say that uh, it's a good development. For Lagos state government, the ongoing enforcement will not be relaxed. Rather, it will be accelerated. In an exclusive interview with TVC News, the Commissioner for Information said the state government has a plan for the genuine Okada riders in the state. They can find themselves into cooperatives, 10 of them, 15 of them, and then they will be able to benefit from the last mile and first mile bus uh, scheme that the government has introduced they can get some of the buses and begin to run for themselves some of them they claim that there are graduates who are riding okada in lagos those graduates can come to lagos state employment trust fund present proposals where they can get some money to go and start their own uh, businesses they can join uh, vocational centers those who don't have any uh, certificates among them then the Ministry of Agriculture is also there. Anybody who is interested in agriculture, they will find a land for the person to go and start a planting. Though we saw high level of compliance to the ban, sustainability by enforcement officers is what will determine how successful the government's ban will be at the long run. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.